In this video, we're going to show you how we can inoculate liquid cultures of bacteria. So to begin, I have a uh, broth culture of some E. coli, and here I have some sterile uh, Luria botani media. And you can tell that the E. coli has grown given the fact that uh, the, the liquid culture here is turbid as compared to the sterile media here, which looks clear. So to begin, I'll turn on my Bunsen burner because I want to keep um, a asept I want to have aseptic technique. And I want to prevent the growth of any unwanted microorganisms. And now there are two ways that I can transfer some of this uh, liquid culture into my sterile media. One way is by using a micropipetter, so I can take a tip as such. I take my tube of bacteria and I take my sterile tube. I'm going to hold them like this, both tubes, and I'm going to open the tube with the bacteria. I'm going to flame the lip and then take a sample flame the lip, close my test tube, open up the test tube I want to inoculate into, flame the loop, uh, flame the lip, and add my bacteria, flame the lip, and close the tube. So another way that we can inoculate growth cultures besides using the micropipetta is by using an inoculating loop. So we start off the same way again. I'm going to hold my two test tubes as such. This one has the bacteria culture, and this one has the sterile media that I want to inoculate into. I begin by taking my uh, inoculating loop, and I'm going to heat it up in the Bunsen burner, and wait till it starts to glow orange. So we're killing off any uh, potential bacteria that may be on this wire. Hold it at the side and allow it to cool. And then we start off again. I'm going to open up the culture of bacteria. I'm going to flame the lip. And then I'm going to insert my loop into the broth. If you're loop is too hot, you're going to hear some sizzling. That means that you've just killed off some bacteria that's in your culture. That's no problem. All you have to do is just lift, uh, move your inoculating loop up and then go back in. After you have some uh, liquid in your loop, you then flame the lip of your culture, close the tube, open up the new tube, flame and then insert into the new test into the new broth gently mix flame close the lip of the test tube and then flame your inoculating loop we'll do that one more time so we Flame my loop, allow it to cool. Notice that I'm always uh, staying as close as possible to the Bunsen burner because of aseptic technique. So this around my Bunsen burner is going to be, be my sterile field. Open up the bacteria culture, flame, get a sample, flame, close, New test tube, flame, mix, flame, close, and flame again. Now the way I am opening these test tubes is with my pinky, I am grabbing the cap and opening like that. Some other people uh, go uh, this way between the last two digits of your hand as such. Okay? But basically, the easiest is just use your pinky 
and lift like that. After you have your cultures inoculated, you'll want to label them with your name, the bacterium that you just inoculated them with, and then uh, put them at the correct temperature to incubate.